Hey, wouldn't it be nice to have a tool to turn any audio to text with great accuracy and completely free? And you don't need to download anything to your local computer? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that using OpenAI's Whisper AI right in your browser with Google Colab. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Elle. Whether you wanted to transcribe podcasts, interviews, or even YouTube videos, Whisper AI makes it effortless. Oh, and you don't need to know how to code. I'm also going to share this one stupid mistake that cost me hours of time so you can avoid it. Make sure to watch until the end so you don't repeat it. Okay, great. So if you have never used Google Colab before, it's pretty easy. Let me show you. First, open your Google Drive and click on New and click on More. Connect More Apps. All right. In the search bar, just type in Colab and select the first one. Click on Collaboratory. Click on Install, Continue, and log in using your Gmail account. Okay, now it says Collaboratory has been installed. Just click OK. Now you can just close it. Okay, after installing Collaboratory, click on New again, More. Now you can see the option here, Google Collaboratory available. So click on it. All right, now you just opened your first collab file. Here, it's better to give it a name that you can easily remember. How about audio to text? Okay, so before we enter any code here, let's check runtime. So click on runtime here and go down to change runtime type. Click here. Now you see a dialog box with two options. First one is runtime type. So Python 3 is perfect, so we can just leave it like that. Under Hardware Accelerator, you see we have five different options, and two of these are grayed out because uh, if we need to access these two GPU, we need to purchase additional compute units. Well, luckily, we don't have to for our transcription tasks. And um, the fifth one, although it is available, it's not quite compatible to our transcription services task. We're going to focus on the first two, CPU and GPU. Now, CPU is perfect for some generic coding tasks, but today we're actually processing audio or video file, uh, transcribe or translate the audio and video file. So it's a significantly larger ask for a computer to do for us. So we're going to use T4 TPU. And the reason is if we use CPU to transcribe a 10 minute audio or video file, that's going to take around 30 minutes. But if we can select T4 GPU, the task time will be shrinked down to about five minutes. All right. After you select T4 GPU, just click on save and we're good to go. All right, so first we need to install the necessary packages. The first line here, we're installing Whisper AI directly from the source, which is from the GitHub repository that maintained by OpenAI. And next, we're installing FMMPEG. Whisper AI really relies on FMMPEG to process the audio and video files in a format before Whisper AI can process it. Here, we're installing all these packages in Google Collaboratory, so they're not installed in your computer. Let's click on the ROM button. Okay, now, so it looks like both packages have been successfully installed. It, it takes about 36 seconds to complete, which is not bad at all. Next, it's time for us to upload our source, video, or audio files. We need to first click on the files icon, and you can uh, drag and drop your audio or video files here. Now you can see the file I just uploaded, test.wave here. And I know 
all these processing texts here are kind of intimidating and we really don't need to know too much about them so simply just click here and select hide output and voila it, it now looks much more straightforward now next simply we just need to run this command and click on the play button now within the quotation marks you just need to enter your file name so here my file name is test.wav and see here i have uploaded it beforehand i am using the medium model whisper ai offers different models tiny base small medium and large the smaller ones are great for speed but can miss some details on the other hand, larger models are super accurate, but much slower. That's where the medium model shines. It gives you a solid balance, more reliable transcriptions without a long processing time. If you're dealing with some tricky accents or background noise, the medium model is your best bet for clear and precise results. And .en here is that we're telling the model that the input language is English. And if you don't do .en here, the model should be able to automatically detect the source language. And after that, you can just click the play button to run it. And it took me about two minutes to complete the transcription. My test.wav file is a 10 minute long podcast which I generated using Notebook LM. And if you're interested in learning how to use Notebook LM to create an AI generated podcast, you can click on this video. Now, if you wanted to process different files, you can just drag your source audio or video files here and change the name right here and click on the play button. And right here, you can see that after the task has been completed, we have five different file types generated, which is pretty awesome. We have JSON files, we have SRT and TSV, TXT, VTT files. So let's open the TXT file and it gets all the punctuations and capitalizations right, mostly. For TSV, you know, TSV file has timestamp and very cool. So here comes one mistake I promise I will share that when I was using Google Colab, I sort of considered it as a Google Drive. So I left some of the generated files here in Google Colab and did not download them. And at one point, I generated a two hour audio transcript and did not save it immediately. And the next day, they're all gone. So really important, please do download these files by clicking on download here so that you would not be wasting any time processing your transcription work.